Car accidents have killed at least 40 people in Portland this year. Not surprising to people like Lori McClish, who just moved, still adjusting to the driving culture. Everybody's going at least 10, 15, sometimes 20 miles over the speed limit. Um, you have to be an extremely defensive driver. Friday night, she saw the real-life consequences of this behavior, waking up at 10 p.m., realizing a dead body was right in front of her porch. It had just happened. They hadn't even really covered the body yet. After a person was hit and killed off Northeast 113th Avenue and East Burnside while trying to cross the street. Police say the driver left by the time they got there. Where she landed, they... I don't think they tried at all to stop. The next morning, another neighbor and his wife took lavender from their garden and left them where the death occurred. We want to live in a world where people care about other human beings, so it's definitely tragic. Saying he didn't know the victim, but hope police can find the driver. I mean, I'm sure that person was scared and devastated that they did what they did. Hopefully they were, but I definitely think that yeah, it, taking off like that is, is cowardly. After living in the Hazelwood neighborhood since 2016, he thinks this part of Portland is often forgotten, saying the city has gotten better with traffic enforcement, but there's still more work to be done. If there's a bunch of like stoplights, it kind of like slows the traffic down, you know? So I do think like just installing more barriers, you know, with, like making it harder to like drag race, really. Sydney Dorner, KGW News.